Hey guys, welcome back to Comigan, and I got for you this week's retro toy review. This week, the 1989 Batmobile from the 1989 Tim Burton Batman movie. Which, by the way, this is my favorite version of the Batmobile. So, uh, we're going to start right away, right here. Take a look. I actually have one still in the box. Now, this is not a minting card. It's been open. I've played with it. But, uh, I mean, look at this. This is this is back when to uh, box art for toys still looked really cool. So, I mean, we've got a lot of really cool things going on here. We've got the bat missiles. Now, this particular Batmobile, a lot of people didn't like because it didn't have the uh, canopy that opened up. Uh, it was more like a convertible, but this was still pretty damn cool for the time. Um, so, this week here we have our, the artwork on the front. We'll switch it over to the back. And then we have everything here that says the Batmobile is going to do, which we'll go over here in the toy review. Um, you ready to see this thing in action? Check it out. Now, while I open this up, there were two versions of this car um, made. There was the one you see on the cover. And then, there's the one that's upside down in the box. And then there was the one that came with this awesome little feature, the shield. Mm. That actually looks more like the shield from Batman Returns. Kinda. So, and this is pretty much just that kind of flimsy material. There are a few tears here. Not very many though, but it's still pretty cool to actually be able to So I'll put this off to the side, and I already have in here my 1989 Batmobile. Why do you have Batman? Check it out. It is the 1989 Batman figure, complete with the cape. He's only missing the battering that came with him, but this is the one where the bat belt kind of extends and, then and comes right back. It's supposed to be his grappling hook. Uh, we'll go over the the Batman right figure inside. real quick. The cape is removable, which ended up being a problem for a lot of people because a lot of people over the years misplaced cape. Um, this is your typical uh, figure back in the day. We have to had that swivels right to life. We got the arms that go up and down. We have a spot in his hand, open hand for the battery that he came with. His legs do go forward and backwards, and we got bending at the knees here. So. Uh, and of course, we have the Batman logo right there on his on his chest. And again, like I said, the cape just kind of clips right back, um, and he fits right inside the back of the like so, like so. He's not wanting to ride that wheel, today. <laughs> so this is. This is all we'll do all sides here. Now I believe originally there was a sticker that went right here that showed the flames coming out. So mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in the back here we have the trunk that opens up. You can have Batman figures in there. You can fit uh, the weapons. Um, if you had the if you had the Joker, you could easily just put Joker right inside there. Close the lid. Like in the classic 66 I am not Batman episode. Having look at these. There we go. And then it just fits. And as you can hear, it's got the weird clicky sound for when it was moving. Now my bat can get stuck in the bat trunk. I like big trunks that I can't not lie. You better risk it than not. As a kid, it was a lot more fun to do that. So, and then. We turn the side, and if you'll notice, these little flaps here keep coming up. It's because right here, those flip up and shoots out the awesome missiles. And then they can fold right back down. There's a steering wheel right in here. That steering wheel is non removable. Looks like it does, but it doesn't. So, back in the day, this was just, um, it was the vehicle tone. Um, 
if you were collecting the DC superhero toy line, which were, um, so a lot of them were like repaints and redos of the uh, superpowers. Um, I know the Robin figure they brought out had the same karate chop action feature. Um, but, uh, and, there's, unlike, and this does have two seats, so if you do have Robin, which I do, I don't have his cape, um, you can fit right there on the side. I have, currently have my Robin uh, in the Superpowers Batmobile, which I thought about bringing that in review instead. You should. I should. When I was a kid, I set mine on fire, so I... He wants to see it, so maybe sometime I'll bring that in and show it to you. Um, and again, this, this fits right over here to mimic the shields going on in the first and second movie. And it just goes right off. Um, as a kid, they came out uh, for the movie, they came out with Batman, Joker, Bob the Goon. Those were the only Batman movie figures we got. We didn't get Vicky Bell, we didn't get Knox. I thought those figures kind of would have been cool to have. Uh, but we did get a Robin for some stupid reason. He wasn't even in the movie. That's what I thought at the time. Um, again, favorite Batmobile. Loved it. And, oh, we do have a Robin figure. It is the Batman the animated series Robin. So we'll, what the hell? We'll go ahead and see if he'll fit in there and stick him in there. He's got all the cuts on him. Is that Jason Todd? It could be Jason Todd. <laughs> So there we go, and he, he does actually kind of fit in Kate Robin with that. So, and I believe that is the um, Tim Drake hmm. Robin. So, so there we go. Although for the animated series, they kind of combined Tim Drake with Jason Todd. Yeah, they did. So, well, there you go. Um, this was one of my favorite uh, toys as a kid. This one I ended up getting off of uh, eBay. Um, they run pretty expensive. This one I just happened to somehow find, I think, for like $25. Um, 25, like 25, 30 bucks. And that was with, with the box, with the shield, still intact. That was with the missiles. I think it was probably some ex wife who trying to give her. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I was really happy to get this back. Uh, when I did have it as a kid, it was a trade. I traded some figures for it, and then the guy wanted it back. And he told his mommy, I want it back, so I had to give it back. But it was really good to have this back in my collection. I actually had to also repurchase the Batman because I couldn't find mine. So, and this one, again, I got lucky with this Batman because uh, he was only 8 bucks on eBay with the cape. And to find one with the cape for that price is insane. Um, so I highly suggest if this was part of your collection, you don't own one and you miss it, by all means, go on eBay. Amazon, I think, might even have it, but you're going to spend a couple hundred dollars. Uh, again, I got lucky. Um, so... Mm, I we'll think the original also... We won't be back. We're back now. I think the original also had the Batman symbol stickers on the they side. Did. They did. You yeah. didn't see on the box. Yeah, they did. I'm actually glad that the stickers weren't with this. Actually, I think I think I actually yeah, I actually have the stickers at home. Oh, okay. It came with the stickers on a pie. I, I except, for, except for the back. It did not have that sticker. I mine swear. Did. Yeah. So I'm thinking uh, maybe they put the sticker on there and it came off. I don't know. But I think I, the, the, the small sheet I have actually has the two Batman emblems that. that goes on I the side. I didn't put the logo on there because it wasn't on there in the in movie. In the movie. I know. So I, I was like, no. I didn't want that on there either. Uh, I'm not even keen on the... Um, yeah. On the bat, the but bat hubcaps there, but the it's thing, all right. The thing I was most bummed about is there was no roof on there because there was a roof and in it, the and movie. Canopy. Now there was, there is a um, remote control version that did have the open canopy. I think you were able to put your figures in it, but didn't have any of the firing missiles. It literally just yeah, I have this. Um, the other, the other thing I'm looking for is the bat cave. So. And that I'm definitely going to end up spending money on, so I probably won't get that anytime soon. Not Shannon's back cave. <laughs> so there you go. I'll try to get him in there right. There we go. So, I'm lying. I just want to play with the thing. And it, do, and, it do, and it does make that sound when it, when it rolls back and forth. So. We'll be back. Right? We'll be back. Yes. We'll be back. With Comic Getting Kids. With Comic Getting Kids.